interesting Xbox and Nintendo Switch news. That's right, what's up? All right. with Nintendo, some GTA 6 news, Resident Evil 8, you want to know when that game is dropping, stay tuned, and we got another remastered game coming to consoles, and so, before we get into all this fire news, you have to give it a thumbs up, bro, ski, alright, the first news item, Phil Spencer, the head of X Microsoft's Xbox division, he was interviewed on IGN and he dropped some major news in relating to Nintendo and Xbox moving forward. The topic of Xbox games coming to the Nintendo Switch came up and his response was very telling. First, he had to butter it up and say, we have a great relationship with Nintendo. We like what they're doing, yada, 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 yada. But he pretty much said he doesn't like when a game comes out on Xbox and people are wondering or saying, I'll just wait till this comes to the Nintendo Switch. Is this coming to the Nintendo Switch? And he said he does not like that. He said it's not good for Xbox and their fans. And so it seems like he strongly hinted that moving forward, moving forward with the Xbox Series X, there's probably not going to be too many Xbox Series X games coming over to the Nintendo Switch and so when Microsoft launches a game on the Xbox Series X and they say it's an exclusive a console exclusive it's more than likely going to stay that way because this generation one of the best 2D platformers of all time Ori and the Blind Forest it launched on the Xbox One <coughs> and then it ended up coming to the Nintendo Switch. Same thing with Cuphead. Another fantastic run and gun slash 2D platformer. Microsoft had the best two this generation. And both games ended up coming to the Switch. Now, even I was mo just recently, I'm playing through Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This is Blind Forest trailer showing, but Ori and the Will of the Wisps, fantastic game, dope game, beat it. The final boss, bro, you find the final boss in the air, there's no ground, and you're juggling the whole time while you have to still attack the boss, epic, bro. But, all the time while I was playing the game, dudes in the chat were like, is this coming to the Switch? When is this coming to the Switch? Because they have it in the back of their mind, Xbox games coming to the Switch. And so, the head of um, Xbox, Phil Spencer, said, don't expect that going forward with the Xbox Series X. Now, um, still coming out, I, I think it's going to still continue for this generation. I think the one game that would probably, and don't quote me on this, <laughs> because Microsoft could say Xbox Series X, um, Minecraft, Whatever they have with ray tracing on Minecraft, the next Minecraft could just be an Xbox Series X exclusive. We don't know yet. But the one game that the games that I think are still um, coming, Cuphead DLC, that's still probably coming to the Switch, and uh, Minecraft Dungeons, Minecraft Dungeons is launching next month. That's coming out on all platforms. But I think. It's going to be for next generation once the Xbox Series X drops. Those console games are going to stay on Microsoft platform. And it makes sense. It makes sense. Nintendo fans don't expect to see uh, Animal Crossing on 
PlayStation or Xbox, they <coughs> buy the Switch for the exclusives. And so it makes sense. And so um, I think the one game that might be an exception next generation would be Minecraft. But we'll see. You never know. All right. Next news item. GTA 6. This report is coming from the Motley Fool talking to investors they're reporting that the next gta 6 the next gta 6 the next gta game is actually years off not in 2021 maybe 2022 2023 the earliest i was expecting maybe next year bro but it looks like rockstar might be milking gta 5 a little longer according to this report they said investors should probably expect a new bioshock at some point and perhaps a new version of la noir they're saying that these games could be coming out um even before the next gta game so um uh, we have to wait and see GTA, gta 5 has been a huge huge success for rockstar the game is still selling like crazy even right now i wish i got i never got it i beat the game on my playstation 4 but i never got into the online in gta um, 5 definitely as soon as the online drops gta 6 i'm gonna be on it man just so um, I, I feel like if i join now i'll be so behind everyone so i'm gonna just wait till the next one comes out as far as the online is concerned but gta 5 dope 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 game and they're saying <coughs> One of the reasons um, why it's going to be a little later, it's going to be well into the lifetime of, uh, or not well, but in the early years of the Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, with an all-new, fresh install base. And they're going to milk that generation <laughs> like they milked <laughs> this past generation. And so GTA 6, a few years out, according to uh, this Motley um, Fool report, and the next game. You're not going to have to wait this long for at uh, that long for this game. If you're a fan of the Resident Evil series game, Resident Evil 3 Remastered just dropped. Bro, this leak is saying Resident Evil 8 is coming out next year, 2021. This is coming from Twitter user Aesthetic Gamer who has been according to gamerrant.com a <coughs> reliable source in the past and so he's saying that resident evil 8 is coming out next year will be a cross-gen game meaning it's going to come out more than likely coming out on the playstation 4 xbox one as well as the playstation 5 and xbox uh, series x and so Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil 8, the next iteration in the Resident Evil series will be dropping next year according to this leaker and he's saying that it's going to be in first person, not third person where you can actually see the character. I think Resident Evil 3, the remake, is third person, third person, but they're saying that this one is going to be first person and the last news item for this video, bro. You get a remastered. You get a remastered. You, you, you get a remastered. Saints Row the Third remastered is coming to PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One according to a brand new ESRB rating that has been discovered. Now, I tell you this though, with these remastered, I'm not a fan of too many remastered unless it's a lit, 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 lit game. My J's dropped, bro. We got to get keep the J's right for the video. Bro. With the Xbox Series X. Because here's the thing. Remasters are a quick cash grab for developers. Just upscale the game. Bam. Sell it for $40, $60. Quick money. The Xbox Series X has built in where if you bought an Xbox One game, you put it on the Xbox Series X, it's going to automatically upscale it and um, bring out the um, optimal potential in the game. So, hopefully we're not going to see too many easy cash grabs um, next gen with these remastered. Alright dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, Arden put a bro. I keep forgetting bro. 
click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. Oh, thanks. Gaming, bro. <laughs> I forgot. That's a bro from another video. All right, we out, bro. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.